Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That's a shovel. That is uh, either a 16 or an 18. I think it's an 18 inch round, to tell you the truth. Maybe it's a 16 inch round. I'm not sure. Anyway, so this canvas, which looks really nice for the monitor, is uh, pretty cool, but it's from like September 2020. And I keep pushing off the video over and over again. So what I want to do is make a landscape out of it, or a surreal landscape out of it, by taking some of my favorite colors. And I make, I'll make a little bit extra in the side so that I don't have a chance of running out. That was some Decor Americana 24 karat gold. That is some Amethyst Artist Loft. This is some Dioxazine Purple from Hobby Lobby Masters, Masters Touch. This is something you can't get anymore that's basically like phalo green with metallic in it. Mysterious, they called it. This is an Arteza phalo green. Those are dog hairs I don't want in anything. And that is got a lot of iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden. That is some Purple Flash from Folk Art. And just for grins. You know what? I've got some other colors over here. Some other turquoises. I'm not sure. I think I was... Whoa. Come here, thing. You're not going in there. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Is there more? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm going to squeeze, I think, something in here in a rather... Yeah. That's some more Prussian blue. Um, there has to be another color. <laughs> That's not enough paint. Well, it probably is enough paint, to tell you the truth. Maybe a little bit of copper, or this Decor Americana 24 karat gold that has a little copper in it, I think is perfect. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the Anita's White Metallic in there. And try and cover up all that Anita's white metallic because it will show if I don't bury it. Not so sure about that Deck Ward Americana 24 karat gold right now. Kind of want to put this back in here. <laughs> yeah. Clever girl. Not really right now. Let's put some more purple in there. Let's just go for this thing. If I see bubbles or glop, I'll do something about it. I kind of think I'd put, I was contemplating putting trees on top of whatever it was and a moon in the sky, and that can still happen. And at this point, I'm also contemplating adding a line of her, a horizon line of the mountains. Because I can. I'll go the opposite way from the way I want to start, so it has a chance to travel. I really want something much darker, and the Prussian blue is right there. It's no longer coming out. <laughs> Come on out. Well. I got a dollop of it, so I guess I'm going to learn to live with that. Because it's the freshest thing there, it's going to move the fastest, but there's also a rather large chunk that needs to go. I don't know if this is going to work right now. Because it's looking like it's just blending right in with everything else perfectly, which is not the plan. I am going to grab something to use as an edge catcher.
hope I can use it on a round canvas successfully. I suspect the moon should be silver, but I'm not sure about anything right at the moment. <laughs> I suspect maybe I should have gone ahead and used some green or something, a color that wasn't already in the painting. There, that's getting a little better. I'm getting my mountain range that I was hoping for. I'm finding that if I smooth a little path from my finger, with my finger, that I can make the paint go where I want. Heavy's paint will flow fastest. And it's still coming down here, which is exactly what I wanted. I think I'm just going to keep letting it get spread out until it stops. I'll let it go across until it's somewhat even, and then we'll just tip down again. I'll just blow right into that. Dry canvases are great because you can clean up whatever you want. Use one of my little tools. I recommend these tools. They're not hard to make. It's just acetate, bamboo skewer, and some clear duct tape that's actually waterproof. Alright, so now I'm going to try and make some trees. We'll see how that works. I need to put my moon in the sky. I should show that to you guys. You know what? I want to play with it some more. And if I put a silver moon in the sky, then I can also put silver highlights on the land. This should, this should look a lot like a lake or something. The Oxo Omelette Turning Spatulas are great. Let's see if I can manipulate that into being something similar to a round. Kind of wanted to imitate the look of clouds over the moon, but I think I need an actually sharp. The sharp end of a skewer to really make that work out. And then tomorrow, when it's dry, I could probably put some more clouds across the moon. So I've been thinking about the trees and whether they should be black or silver. Or black and then silver branches. So that's sort of, that's pretty close to what I had in mind. I was thinking of a larger moon, but I think that that's fine. And I can use my silver that I just put down. Uh-huh. Too many bottles of paint. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It's right there in front of me. So I'm going to put a little bit of silver right into the scape. Which I don't mind at all. Because it definitely gives a, a little bit more definition. I 
I'm just a little tiny drop. Back and forth. And then this does look like a reflection of the, of the moonlight on the water, or the sky on the water, which is pretty cool. I still want some black trees. I think they need to <laughs> I think they need a little help. But at least they're there, right? Oh, I got a waterfall over here. That's pretty cool. I should put the side of a mountain. I wonder if I have any paint left to steal. I kind of think I do. So we're putting in a mountain. And the waterfall is going to catch the catch the moonlight. As soon as I clean the tree black off. I kind of want the rest of that paint to go right over here. with a little bit of purple. Let's just skewer that into place. Purple mountains, blue mountains, majesty. Let that go right over the edge. always add a little more moonlight tomorrow if I want to also. I want something dark across that bottom. It may not stay very dark because I'm going to pretty much mix it in but Gonna use my skewer and move it back and forth. Since I like that, I'm gonna do it up there too. And then I can always, like I said, put some moonlight on it tomorrow. So if you see the thumbnail with moonlight and I didn't put it in in the video, <laughs> you'll know what happened. I just got rid of way too much moonlight. <laughs> okay, so I need a smaller tool with a pointy end on it. And to see what it will look like if I put moonlit branches on my trees. Mm. 
I'm not being very careful about it though. Still looks like what I'm what I'm hoping it was gonna look like. What I really need to use is the edge of a little tiny acetate card. It's feeding time for the puppies. Nobody's being tortured. <laughs> playing with and it's definitely fixable. I'm not sure if it's absolutely done yet. And I do think that if you had this amount of paint in a little container and you dip in at the edge of an acetate card in, that you'd probably be happier with your results. But that being said, I'm also not terribly unhappy with what I've got. I will probably be putting a little bit of moonlight back as well as filling out that edge. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, you guys inspire me. Thank you for being here. I have over 2,000 videos. If you'd like to watch something else and you can't find a link, just ask me. They're all organized on playlists by topic and genre. I'm going to pretend that there's something in the background there that's also catching moonlight. Actually, I'd really love to make that go all the way up. <laughs> like there. So the mountain range was in reality all was there all the time. I just needed to add something in front of it. That was kind of fun. It's definitely an experiment worth making. I don't think I heard anything. come again. I post seven days a week and Friday, Saturday and Sunday night at 10 p.m. also. If I have some more paint and I do, I can always put it in. I can steal some too if I want. And that is, as I say, that is that. With the exception of that dog hair, which is not all right, I've got one minute left to tell you guys. I do run a monthly drawing to help pay for art supplies and keep me painting and bringing you new tutorials. I see a little scratch on the surface of the painting and I don't think adding a little something is gonna hurt. I thought about adding some of the, um, the Amsterdam Black Oxide and Aussie Floetrol and I still could if I wanted to add a lot of texture there. And it might be kind of cool to do some of. Huh, I wonder if I have any handy. Yep, I do. I got something I like. Cool. I'm gonna torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Tell you guys give me a thumbs up, please. Can, can you share my videos and watch them longer? And I'll probably work on those trees just a little bit more time to make them look a lot less clumsy. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh, okay. Ask me questions if you want. And thank you for all the wonderful comments and all the donations that